Without Meghan Markle, Kate Middleton will become the star of Charles III's coronation. Welcome! Please subscribe to our YouTube channel before watching the video so you don't miss any of our latest content. Thank you for your support. Australian writer and journalist Daniela Elser, who authored a column titled Without Meghan Markle, Kate Middleton will become the star of Charles III for News.com, is likely to receive pushback based on the headline alone. But let's start by reading. Daniela Elsa writes, Since the news broke last Thursday that Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, will be absent from Charles's coronation, with Meghan remaining in Los Angeles working on TIG 2.0, the media frenzy has escalated at breakneck speed, with one headline after another. There have been stories of transatlantic ping-pong, speculations that the best Harry can hope for is a brief hello from his frosty family, and so much accusations, shouts, and name-calling on Twitter that one can reasonably conclude it's time to delete the app. But notice what has been conspicuously absent in this 48-hour madness. The one name we haven't heard much about? The one person who seems to have gone unnoticed amidst all the uproar? Catherine, the Duchess of Wales. And less than three weeks before Charles and Camilla learn just how heavy the crown can be, something interesting is taking shape. The woman whose greatest achievement prior to marriage was organizing a charity roller disco and never once giving the paparazzi the upper hand seems to be on the verge of becoming the biggest victor of the coronation. Unlike the last commoner who married into the royal family, the tragic Elizabeth Woodville, whose sons were taken to the tower and likely murdered by their uncle Richard III, Kate has proven to be perhaps the most successful and powerful royal mercenary in Buckingham Palace's history. Of course, officially the day of the coronation is a big day for Charles and Camilla, but in reality, it will be a day of celebration for the future Queen of Wales. Her evolution from a regular university student with lovely legs to a formidable future queen is nearly complete. First and foremost, the attention of all media is now largely focused on her and her alone. Oh, I know there will be plenty of huge, bright British color editions filled with photos of a dignified-looking Charles with a clumsy crown on his head and many verbose notes about how Camilla went from being the most hated woman in Britain to the gold state carriage. But let's be honest, man, the person everyone will be looking at is Kate. In many ways, the late Hilary Mantle, the first British writer to win the Booker Prize twice, was right when she ambiguously described Kate as designed by a committee and built by craftsmen. Although the famous author may have said this in a derogatory sense, Kate turned out to be exactly what the British monarchy needed, even though they didn't know it. She has the style and demeanor of someone with the bluest blood, and I would bet on every one of my commemorative Queen Elizabeth mugs that she will be dazzling on that big day just what's needed. The fact that Meghan won't be attending makes Kate's victory even clearer. The Duchess of Sussex has exited the narrative, depriving the Princess of Wales of the biggest possible distraction factor and a symbolic antagonist. Meghan's absence gives Kate an advantage on the day of the coronation and means that no editor on Fleet Street will have to publish anything other than sycophantic headlines. Listen, I'll be frank, my heart starts to ache at the thought of women being pitted against each other, but let's be realists. If the Duchess of Sussex had shown up at Westminster Abbey on May 6th, likely in exquisite couture because she has taste, she and Kate would have been ruthlessly compared to each other. One of the biggest topics of the day would have been the interaction, or more likely, the complete absence of it between Kate and Meghan, and the discussion of who came out on top in the style stakes. On a more serious note, for Kate, Meghan's presence would have meant that the media would once again start dredging up their ambiguous relationship, tears, dissatisfaction with the bridesmaid's dress, and accusations of being a child's brain. Essentially, the tabloids would have mocked them again, making jokes about the complicated history between these two women. Instead, since Meghan will stay in California and effectively disappear from public view, Kate may reign supreme on that day. I would bet good money right now that we will see a lot of news headlines like Kate the Great paying breathtaking tribute to how she is the best thing that has happened to the monarchy since they decided to stop marrying their highborn cousins. The coronation will further solidify her place in history books. Kate's son, 
Prince George, will play the role of one of his grandpa's page boys, making him the youngest future monarch ever to participate in a coronation. There is a valuable lesson in all of this for all ambitious future queens or young socialites eagerly eyeing the next generation of air princes who are currently scattered across the most expensive boarding schools and military academies. Play the long game. For many years, I thought Kate was about as useful as gluten-free sand cookies. She was as compliant and obedient as a modest relic from the 1950s who bought pantyhose in bulk and whose greatest achievement was mastering the highest level of ribbon cutting. However, I will happily raise my hand and admit I was completely wrong. What has become evident in recent years is that all the while Kate was giving birth to babies and keeping her knees out of public view, she was actually studying the rules of the royal game in the shadows and in silence. It seems she watched, listened, and learned, and then, when she was ready, she quietly embarked on what has become the most subtle revolution within a single organization in the world. Kate has loyal ministers in her government, leading scientists, and executives of some of the largest British companies, all of whom readily support her work at her early years foundation as she tries to develop something akin to a social revolution in how Britons raise their children. Yes, it has taken her a considerable amount of time, but Kate has finally made it. Since her first encounter with William, there have been six prime ministers who have come and gone in the United Kingdom, and Kim Kardashian has been through two divorces. Nevertheless, Kate has risen to the top. With her growing influence and formidable presence, Kate has become a significant force not only within the royal family, but also in the broader British context. She has carved out a prominent role for herself, and her impact extends beyond her status as a member of the royal family. As the future of the British monarchy hangs in the balance, much attention is focused on Kate's actions and choices. The weight of expectations and responsibilities placed upon her shoulders cannot be overstated. It is undoubtedly an immense burden for one person to bear. Despite the pressures that come with her position, Kate continues to navigate her role with grace and dignity. Her choice of attire, including her blazer ensembles, has become symbolic of her confident and powerful presence. Kate's sense of style has become an inspiration to many, and her fashion choices are often emulated. As the anticipation for the day of her eventual coronation grows, Kate's role in the monarchy is crucial. Her moderate yet commanding approach to power dressing, reflected in her choice of blazers, has become a hallmark of her style. She sets an example for others to follow, and her influence extends beyond her immediate family. In conclusion, Kate has come a long way since her introduction to the royal family. Her journey to the top has not been without challenges, but her growing influence and presence make her a force to be reckoned with, not only within the royal family, but also in the broader British context. As we eagerly await the day of her coronation, we can look to Kate's fashion choices, including her powerful blazer ensembles, as a reflection of her confident and influential persona. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more content like this. Your support means a lot to me. See you in the next video.